Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, um, depending on whichever part of the world you are tuning in from. It's Friday, happy Friday to everyone, it's the last trading day of the week. Well, as usual, let's run through our daily routine, so let's confirm that we are all on the same page together. So if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice loud and clear, please let me know in the comment section by typing hi. So typing hi will just will confirm that we are all on the same page and then we can kickstart the session. Thank you very much as you do so. All right, all right. Thank you very much, guys. I can see a handful of comments right here um, from Roga543, Waga2008, Dizox, Stranded298, um, Dawa Zangmore, Money Wela, Hey Kari, thank you very much. Um, to, um, 24Gen9, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate. So on this note, I want to confirm that we are all on the same page. So once again, I welcome you all to yet another promising edition on the x -Trend Speed Live as we delve into the last trading day of the week. Well, today promises to be a very, very important day for those of you who have been with me for a while now. You know how today is. Uh, when it comes to the last trading day of the week, we usually expect that a majority of the market participants will be rounding off on their trades, taking in some of, closing in some of their positions to take in some profit ahead of the weekend. And this usually reflects on the chart in price action doing a reversal from the prior leading price action. So we are going to be taking this into consideration while we review the current market structures today. And another thing that came up yesterday which is quite significant is the hawkish statement from the Federal Reserve Chair where he emphasized that the possibility of another rate hike could happen before the end of the year. So this is one um, statement here that has given the dollar a platform to ride on ahead of the nearest future. So we are going to be taking all this into consideration today. So, so far this week, we have been monitoring four major assets, which includes the U.S. All Sport, the U.S. Tech 100, the GBP USD, and of course, the XAU USD. And in fact, we've been doing very, very well um, across board throughout the course of the week. Like the U.S. Oil, we've had about over a thousand pips in profit on that one. And on the XAU USD, we've done very, very well too. Same thing with the GBP USD. So, we are going Going to be looking at this asset today using simple parameters and fundamental tools such as trend lines, key levels, and chart patterns to gain valuable insights into the historical price of this asset and, of course, unravel the potential trajectory of price action as we get as, as we anticipate the end of the week. Now, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, you might be asking, what is this all about? Well, as technical traders, we gather here every day to come together as a community and engage in follow-ups and reviews of our current positions in preparation for in preparation of the New York session. The session usually kickstarts by 10 a.m. UTC, 11 a.m. West African time, and I do recommend that you stay tuned in during this time to. Um, so that you don't miss out on the insights that we will be sharing during the course of the session. Our aim here is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to make informed trading decisions independently. The more time you spend with us, the better you will become at comprehending our analytical approach and utilizing the information gathered here to enhance your 
your own trading decisions and strategy so once again i extend a warm welcome to you and encourage you to actively engage in the comment section to uh, so that you can be on the same page with us so with that being said here uh, we will be diving right into the business for today and as usual the first thing we normally do is to check on the economic calendar and for those of you who have been with me for a while now you know how important this is as these fundamental factors often manifest on the charts in technical patterns and price movement by monitoring the economic calendar we can identify potential correlations between key economic releases and specific technical patterns on the chart hereby giving us valuable information needed to position ourselves in such a way that we can capitalize on any potential move prior during and even after this economic event so for this week we are based on the assets we've been monitoring so far uh, we are focusing on the united states and the united kingdom economic docket now for today friday november 10th we have a handful of high impact events from both the united states and the united kingdom the first one here is coming in from the united kingdom which already has happened this happened about three to four hours ago and that is the most anticipated gdp data from the uk and for those of us who don't know the gdp data is a very high impactful event that gives us an insight into the overall health of the united kingdom economy hereby impacting investor sentiment and influencing our trading decisions too as well <coughs> excuse me please now from the data we have here the previous one came at 0.1 percent and we had a situation where economists were projecting a minus 0.1%. In fact, economists were expecting a little bit, um, a, a, a contraction in the economy. But surprisingly, we saw how um, the economy has expanded by 0.2%, which is actually beyond expectation, giving us a positive deviation of 1.46. And this, in fact, is a very, very positive sign for the pound sterling and we do want to be seeing how the market has reacted to this event and of course use the information to project what our plans will be for today's trading session then another important event that also came in from the united kingdom is the industrial production and of course the manufacturing production which actually came in below expectations here so despite the fact that we had an overall expansion in the united kingdom economy we saw a little bit of um, downplay um, in the industrial and manufacturing sector which now gives us a mixed data coming in from the united kingdom so we will be looking at what how the market had reacted to this event and how we want to be uh, positioning ourselves for the next move then later today we have another very impactful event coming in from the united states economic docket and that is the publication from the university of michigan which is the consumer sentiment index well for those of you who don't know this index here gauges the consumer confidence which has a direct impact on consumer spending and economic growth hereby influencing the market sentiment and asset prices now from the previous data that is for the month of october we had a figure of 63.8 and we have a consensus where economies are projecting a 63.7 which is a little bit lower than the previous data so there is an expectation of a contraction in that regard so we look forward to see what the actual data is going to be like today will it be just as expected below expectation or even beyond expectations so with the information we have gathered here on the economic calendar as technical traders we do know that the anticipation of this event alone also has a tendency of influencing the market sentiment and then reflect on the chart as 
price action so talking about price action let's move right into the first asset on our watch list for this week which is the us all sport and in fact on the us all sport we've been doing very very well since the beginning of the week scooping over a thousand pips in profit as we rode the momentum bearish momentum all the way to the downside since the breakdown of the $80.65 level. Now, for the sake of clarity and for those of us who missed out from our first edition for this week, I would like to run through how the week started for us here and what led to the decisions we made during the course of the week. So, to make things a little bit clearer, let me zoom right into the current structure. So, the week started with a little bit of consolidation phase as we saw here that within the first 7 to 8 hours, price was initially confined within the $81 area and of course the $80.65 level to emphasize the level of indecision at that particular point in time. And of course, you know how we do it in the community whenever price action falls into a range like this cuts within and set a level of uncertainty we have no other choice than to exercise patience waiting for either the breakout of the range to give us an opportunity to buy or the breakdown of the range to give us an opportunity to sell and of course you can see what happened here price did not go down at all but instead broke out of the resistant line at the 81 dollar area this actually happened prior to the beginning of our live session on monday and i told us all that for those of us who had missed out on that opportunity let's see if the market will come back retest the structure to incite an uptrend move and in fact this was exactly what happened price came back so if you had your buy limit order placed there we saw price move over a hundred pips before the bearish momentum came in and of course you know how we do it in this community as soon as price moves significantly well we move our stop losses and accordingly and depending on where you moved your stop loss you must have been taken out with a moderate size of profit or at a worst case scenario break even then we saw price action nose dive to the downside which of course didn't come to us as a surprise at all remember that on the higher time frame we observed this descending trend line which could be a barrier for buyers at the beginning of the week and of course we saw that as soon as price got into the structure just right around the 81 dollar 50 cent level we saw multiple rejection of that area giving us signs that sellers were trying to build a momentum and of course we positioned ourselves just right below the $80.65 level to capitalize on our first sell position for the week and since that moment we have been selling the um, US all spot capitalizing on more opportunities had the breakdown of levels such as the $80 mark we also had another opportunity right below the $78.80 level on Tuesday and then we continue to ride to the downside again $78.15 level and then on Wednesday we also added one more position at this breakdown of the $76.80 area so it has been quite a tremendously profitable week for us all in this community and for those of you who took advantage of these opportunities well done and kudos to you for being on standby to capitalize on this move now during our live session yesterday we identified a new trading setup after we realized that sellers were finding it difficult to break through that area around the 75 74 dollar 90 cent zone and the inability of sellers to break through this area leading into a situation where we saw higher lows and price confined within the 75 dollar 85 cent level and the 74 dollar 90 cent area we decided that we are all we are not going to be selling unless price action breaks down the 74 dollar 90 cent area which of course never happened and in fact that negated any idea of considering selling at that point in time so with the situation we had here we 
anticipated a breakout of that $75.85 area, giving us a beautiful opportunity to join that uptrend move. And since that moment, price had been trading above that structure where we currently have about um, how many pips in profit right now? About 57, 58 pips in profit at this point in time. So it has been a very tremendous week for us. We initially had buy positions at the beginning of the week. We turned into bearish momentum. We took advantage of that one too as well, giving us over a thousand pips. And during yesterday's trading session, we cited the potential of a reversal setup unfold on the chart. And of course, we took advantage of this move and thank goodness price is currently running with about 60 pips in profit at this point in time everyone who took advantage of this opportunity well done and kudos to you for being on standby to capitalize on this move now as you know how we do it in this community as soon as price action moves significantly well in our favor we want to be moving our stop losses accordingly and at this point in time i will be suggesting that the entry zone is where we do want to be moving our stop losses to at this point in time we are not considering this as a profit at all as anything could still happen in this particular market so let's let's ensure that we move our stop loss to the entry point and wait to see how the market will react to this current structure now with our positions well secured at this point in time how do we intend to capitalize on the next move for today how are we going to continue to hold on to our bullish buyers here or are there chances that sellers could come in to take over this market at any point in time now with the way things are going right now the existing buy position we have remains very intact has all market weakness increased bias interest during the asian session nevertheless it's essential to acknowledge the recent recovery of the u.s dollar across its major peers and this is fueled by the renewed expectation for an additional fed interest rate hike which enhanced the likelihood of near-term depreciation remember i made mention earlier that the fed chairman said there is a likelihood of an interest rate hike before the end of the year and this in fact has increased a positive sentiment in favor of the u.s dollar and if we look at this this supports the likelihood of further near-term depreciation in the high prices and might lead to the breakdown of this temporary demand zone we have here so we are going to be taking all this into consideration while we dissect this current market structure now before we go into the details of what our expectations will be looking like for today i would like us to have an holistic perspective into what is really going on in this market by taking a revisit of the higher time frame and especially for those of us who are not part of our earlier editions this is an opportunity for you to be on the same page with us so we started the week at um on the daily time frame where we spot a very interesting setup that we said we will be using to guide our trading decisions for this week and one key factor we noticed on the daily time frame was that beautiful level had the $80 area and in fact we saw how this $80 level had played a major role in determining the direction of price action in fact throughout the first um, seven to eight months of this year it was more or less a strong selling niche as we saw how um, this area negated all attempt by the buyers to break through this structure we saw what happened here in the month of march we saw what happened here in the month of april fast forward into the month of july stroke august we saw attempt again by sellers to negate the attempt by buyers to break out of that structure and not until the later part of the month of august we finally saw price break out of that structure to the upside and in fact price traded above this level for about two months before we saw the breakdown again of the structure during the first day of this week now that price action has broken 
the $180 mark to the downside one more time, I will consider anywhere below the $80 mark as a seller's territory as you will see how this level have played a major role to push price to the downside since the beginning of the year. And now the price is back below that area, it makes quite a lot of sense to continue to look out for selling opportunity. However, whenever price action breaks down a key structure such as the $80 mark we have here, we expect at that at a point in time, technically, price is likely going to come back, retest the structure to incite a downtrend continuation. And if we look at the distance between where price was here and this level, it's roughly about 400 pips to catch there. So I was thinking here yesterday that we can actually capitalize on this bullish momentum back into the $80 area, which depending on how price reacts to the $80 mark, will determine what we will be doing at that point in time. But considering the range and the distance in price, we decided that let's see if the market will transition into a reversal pattern to incite a retracement phase into the structure, or we might likely be seeing a downtrend continuation pattern where the breakdown retest of structure will incite a downtrend move. So it was very important for us during the live session yesterday to understand how participants in the market will be reacting to that structure. Now, in order to have a better insight into what is really going on around that area, we needed to scale down into a much more lower time frame. And in fact, we did that. We scaled back down into our one hour time frame where we begin to see things more clearly. Now, right here on the one hour time frame, we begin to notice how the $75 area became a barrier for sellers as every pattern by the sellers despite the strong bearish momentum that started this week, we saw how it was negated and not only did it negate it, but at the same time, it found a higher low. And whenever we notice higher lows on the market structure, it's a sign that buyers are gradually gradually gaining momentum behind the scenes. And not only that, we also saw how the price action was gradually transitioning into what is looking like a double bottom structure. And immediately we notice the setup, you know how we do it. The next thing we do is to mark out the neckline so that we can use it to validate if truly this reversal pattern will become valid. So we had our neckline situated along the $75.85 area, as you will see here, waiting for the breakout and retest of the neckline to give us an opportunity to join the uptrend move. And look at what happened here in the last 24 hours. Price action did break out. Then we saw price come back to retest the structure and beautifully we can see our price is continuing to the upside. Now, this is not a rocket science here right now that price will continue to climb up so in that regard i've told us all to move our stop losses and let's secure this current buy position while we continue to exercise patience and watch how the market will be reacting to this current structure now to help us guide our trading decisions for today i was able to spot an ascending trend line after connecting the series of higher lows as you will see here and in fact this is going to be playing a major role in guiding our trading decisions for today and of course you know how we use our ascending trend lines in this community as long as price remains above the ascending trend line we shall continue to look out for buying opportunities in this market now with the way things are going right now and price remaining above our trend line we look out for more opportunities so we have another level around the 76 dollar 80 cent area which has been a strong selling niche in the last couple of days now if price will break out and retest that structure we look out for more opportunities to maximize the uptrend move then we also have the 77 dollar 40 cent area another very important level to look out for more opportunities if price will break out and retest that area then we have the 78 dollar 15 cent we also have 
the um, $78.80 area. So let's see how far this momentum will go. And remember that we also have this descending trend line marked out here. So price may likely get back into that $80 mark, that area we identified on the higher time frame. So let's see, this is about how many pips move right now. Just on one single position, it's about 350 moves to catch here. So let's see how far it will go. And if we can maximize the move, then we can multiply um, our gains on this particular market. So as long as price remains above the ascending trend line, we shall feel comfortable in this buy position. Now, in as much as we're looking out for buying opportunity here, you know how we do it in this community. We cannot ignore the potentials that sellers can also come into this particular market. Of course, it has been a very strong bearish momentum since the beginning of the week. And in fact, um, the sellers is going to take the buyers a run for their money before the buyers can actually really say they will be dictating the pace uh, as the weekend draws near. So if we are going to be considering selling here, what is it that we want to see on this chart that will make us feel comfortable and confident in changing our buyers from bullish to bearish? Well, first of all, based on what we saw on the higher time frame, remember that we had a support line here around that $75 area, which had been negating the attempt by the sellers to break through that area. And in fact, if we want to be selling here personally, I want to see price take out all the buy positions within the zone retest of structure for me to join the decline to the downside however after looking at this current structure and looking at the distance between the ascending trend line and that breakdown i saw about a hundred pips so i was thinking how can i actually take advantage of a bearish opportunity even before the breakdown of that support line happens now that is where this ascending trend line comes in now remember that we have this ascending trend line marked out and if at any point in time this trend line gets breached to the downside then we might likely be seeing the beginning of another wave of bearish momentum and if price breaks down the trend line which interestingly shares a confluence with a $75.85 level then at this point in time we might start considering selling but remember that we are not jumping into a conclusion yet as we will need some further confirmations like a retest of structure we want to see signs that buyers are finding it difficult to climb back above the ascending trend line which of course would reflect on the chart as price doing a retest of structure where continuous selling pressure like lower lows and lower highs come in on this chart then we can sell this asset then if price goes on to break down the $74.90 area we will be adding more sell positions to our existing trade so the only condition that will make us consider selling the US all spot today is for price to break down both the ascending trend line and the $75.85 level rate test of structure then we can join the bearish move but with the way things are going right now and considering the um, fact that we are heading into um, the end of the week i'm of the opinion that those of us those majority of the players in the market who had sold the us all for um, at the beginning of the week may likely want to be taking some profit off their positions which will reflect on the chart as a reversal setup so i still hold on to a bullish bias here but if at any point in time today price breaks down and retest the ascending trend line then we will get ready to sell so in that regard you do want to be marking out these levels and trend lines on your chart as you will be needing them as a reference point to guide your independent trading decisions during the New York session today. If you have any questions whatsoever as regards to my current setup or explanations, feel free to let me know in the comment section. So as usual, I will be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds off to see if there are any questions whatsoever. While well, you can also use your time, that time to mark out these levels on your chart.
Hello, I've been seeing um, a couple of um, comments here in the comment section. Uh, my whole time friends here, I can see Innocent Babe. How are you doing, Innocent Babe? It's been a long, long time since I saw you here um, on the extra speed. How are you doing today? Glad to have you around with us this morning. Um, I see BRNG, I see 35 Harm, I see Win X298, Ify Lucky. Uh, Melol and Mumps Aduham4 Good morning to you guys Thank you very much Hello Innocent Babe Glad to have you around once again And WinX2983 Good morning to you Same here, same here Innocent Babe Same here Alright, alright So in the absence of no questions I want to assume that we are all on the same page And in that regard We shall be moving on to the next asset on our watch list. Alright, so the next asset we are going to be looking at today is the US Tech 100, another phenomenal move we witnessed here yesterday after some bullish traction came in and I do hope you moved your stop losses accordingly. If you had done that, you must have been taken out of that position at the worst case scenario break even. Now before we go into the details of what we will be looking at today, let's quickly run through how the week started for us. Remember, we have been buying since the beginning of the week before we were taken out during the Tuesday Wednesday trading session after price action went into a limbo. So at the beginning of the week, it was more of a consolidation phase. Remember, in fact, it was a narrow range before price action finally expanded into that confinement within the 15,000 150 and the 15,085 area to emphasize the level of uncertainty that gripped the market during the first 24, 36 hours of this new week. Now, uh, you know how we do it whenever price action falls into this kind of range. We want to exercise patience and wait for either the breakout of the resistant line to give us an opportunity to buy or the breakdown of the support line to give us an opportunity to sell. And coupled with the fact that we had this flat range identified at the beginning of the week, remember that we had an ascending trend line also marked out and for the fact that price remained above the ascending trend line we were leaning towards an uptrend situation here so in that regard we had a buy stop order sitting above the 15,000 150 level to capitalize on that uptrend move and in fact we saw how price moved significantly well on tuesday moving over 180 pips before that consolidation phase happened and i told us all that day that we will be moving our stop losses and secure the position and unfortunately somehow we were taken out with a minimum of 100 pips thereabout after price action broke down the 15,255 level now, during our live session yesterday, we said something here as regards to the current setup after noticing lower, higher lows, sorry, within that range between the 15,325 level and the 15,255 area. So we anticipated the breakout of the resistance line. And in fact, we saw price move about um, 55 to 60 pips thereabout. And of course, if you had moved your stop losses, you must have been taken out with a modest size of profit or at a worst case scenario break even. And I made mention something yesterday that as long as price remains above the ascending trend line, remember we had this ascending sending trend line marked out we shall remain very positively bullish in this particular market and that if at any point in time we see price break down the trend line and of course the 15,300 we will be getting ready to sell and with a sell stop order below the 15,300 we saw price um 
nosedive all the way to the downside and in fact if you capitalize on that move you will currently be running with about 140 pips in profit and for those of us who took advantage of this opportunity well done and kudos to you for being on standby to capitalize on that move and in fact if you had added more positions like the breakdown of the 15,255 as projected this one also will be running with about 98 pips in profit so in the last 24 hours we were able to make over 200 pips which is not bad at all so let's see how the market is going to play out going forward now as usual you know how we do it whenever price action moves significantly well in our favor the next thing we want to be doing right now is to move all stop losses let's protect and secure this position as we continue to monitor price action and for now i will i'm of the opinion that we should be moving our stop losses to anywhere around the 15,190 and the 15,220 area let's move our stop losses around this area secure those positions and of course remember that we do want to be given enough breathing space for price action to breathe now with that being said now and with a well secured position what is going to be our next line of action for today how are we going to continue selling the us tech 100 or are there chances that buyers can come in especially after we're looking forward to the consumer sentiment index which is coming up in about two hours from now now before we go into the details of what to look out for we will need to scale up into the higher time frame so we can have an holistic perspective a long-term view of what is going on in this market and to refresh our memories we started the analysis on the four hours time frame at the beginning of this week where we saw a very very interesting setup gradually unfold on this chart well before we go into the into that the first thing we can acknowledge here was the fact that price action had been very very bullish since the beginning of the year and in fact we had an ascending trend line to mark and emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market after connecting the series of higher lows now not until about two to three weeks ago we saw price break down the ascending trend line for the first time this year though this did not come to us as a surprise at all as we were already anticipating the breakdown to happen after noticing the series of lower highs which gripped this market in the last three to four months now as soon as price broke down the ascending trend line we were of the opinion that from a technical standpoint we do expect that after price breaks down a trend line or a structure like this we expect it to come back into structure where it's interestingly shares a confluence with that descending trend line to incite a downtrend move now to make things a little bit easy for us to capture the next move we marked out a key level duly situated at the 15,300 area which in fact has been a strong selling niche since the month of june as we saw here that every attempt by the buyers to break through the structure has been met with strong resistance from the sellers though we had that we had situations where price really broke out of that structure but it never lasted long as you will see price kept uh, hovering around that area until finally leading to the breakdown of that ascending trend line so we said here that if price gets into the structure this week we want to exercise patience and see how the market will react to that structure and during our live session yesterday we acknowledged this consolidation phase as we saw that in the last two days prior to yesterday's session we saw price oscillating within the 15,300 which emphasized the level of indecision around that area and of course for the um, gave us an insight into how crucial that juncture is now we said something here that if we see selling pressure persist then we might likely be seeing the downtrend scenario 
uh, continuation of the breakdown of that ascending trend line, which is likely going to be very, very massive. And that if price breaks out of the 15,300 retest, then that will likely be an uptrend situation. Now, with the way things are going right now and looking at yesterday's candle, you can see that we have something here that looks like a shooting star candle, which technically reveals the presence of selling activities around a region. Now, with this candle here, I'm of the opinion that price action has a tendency of continuing to the downside. And if that is going to be the case, how do we intend to capitalize on that? Now, we went on to scale down into the four hours time frame where we had another setup marked out on the chart here. And you will see that price is back into the 15,150. And in fact, in the last 16 to 20 hours since price got into the 15,150, we have been noticing some buy pressure here. Now, price broke down this ascending trend line on the four hours time frame, as you will see here. Now, from a technical standpoint, if the buy pressure around the 15,150 here persists, then we might likely be seeing a retracement back into structure to incite a downtrend move. Now, let's look at the distance between where price is right now and the 15,300. That's about 150 pips to catch here. So if you're willing to be part of this move, then let's see how to capitalize on that one. Now, a breakout of the 15. 15,200 area right here. So I want to be marking out this level right here as we will be needing it to capitalize on an uptrend scenario. So let's mark this level on our chart. So we have the 15,200 level duly marked out here. So if price will break out of the structure, then this might transition into a reversal setup to incite a retracement back into this area where depending on how price reacts here will determine if we are going bullish or bearish at this point in time. However, if price action goes on to break down the 15,150 around this area to the downside, then we will be getting ready to sell. So a breakdown of the structure here will give us more opportunity to add more sell position to our existing trade. So you can see we have a simple setup to manage our trade here today. So basically, our center of focus is within this $50 range between the 15,200 and the 15,150 we are depending on the direction of the breakout or breakdown of the structure will be welcoming um, a signal to guide our decisions for today. So let's mark this beautiful levels out and let's see how the market will react to the structure. I think with the next, within the next two to three hours, we should be able to get um, a signal to work with for today's trading session. So mark this levels out and let's see where the breakout is going to happen. Then we join in that particular direction. So these are my views on the US Tech 100 for today. A very simple setup we have here. But if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section. So as usual, I will be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to see how to see if you have any questions whatsoever. And then let's see. Let's move on to the next asset on our watch list. So I can see a handful of comments here again. I can see win, win x 298 r you glad? Uh, all right, it's a pleasure doing that. Um, read and I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Good morning to you. Glad to have you around with us. If you're lucky, I see your comment too as well. And Innocent Babe, same here too. I'm so happy to have you around with us today. So with that being said here, we will be moving on to the next assets in the absence of no questions. So in that regard, let's jump into the next one.
So the next asset on our watch list for today is the GBP USD, which is popularly known as the cable market. And in fact, we have been selling this asset since the beginning of this week it has been a wonderful week for us all in this community remember we sold the breakdown of the 1.23650 after price action broke down of that range between the 1.239 and the 1.23650 level and since that moment we have been selling the gbp USD. Then we went on to add more positions on Tuesday. Remember, the 1.23 level broke down. We sold right there. And then on Wednesday, we had a little bit of selling opportunities as well as we broke down that structure to the downside. And in fact, during our live session yesterday, we actually identify a potential reversal pattern which failed as you will see here remember we saw something like the head and shoulder pattern the inverse head and shoulder pattern we saw the head right here we saw the right shoulder and we said that if price action still remains above this 1.22750 level then we do want to be buying at the breakout of the neckline, which interestingly shares a beautiful confluence with that key level at the 1.23 area. And of course, you know what happened, that at the, the um, reversal pattern failed, pushing price to the downside. And remember what we said here during the live session, we agreed that as long as price remains below this descending trend line, we shall continue to look out for selling opportunities and look at what happened here price broke down the 1.22750 bringing price below the descending trend line retest of structure giving us a good opportunity to join that decline to the downside and this in fact gave us a minimum move of about 60 pips and if you had added one more positions at the breakdown of the 1.22475 as projected yesterday you have another 35 pips in profit which gives us roughly close to a hundred pips on this one so well done and kudos to everyone who are taking advantage of this opportunity now for those who still have a sell position running at this juncture in time you know how we do it in this community the next thing we want to be doing right now is to move our stop losses and secure this current sell position and for me personally i will be suggesting that anywhere around the 1.22300 area is enough for us to move all stop losses to and while we do so let's ensure that we um, give enough breathing space for price action to move around now with a well secured position at this juncture what is going to be our next course of action for today are we going to continue selling or are we going to be getting ready to buy uh, considering the fact that today is the last trading day of the week and for those uh, of the market participant who had been buying the US dollar and selling the GBP USD throughout the course of this week may likely want to be closing in some of their position taking in some profit ahead of the weekend and this will usually reflect on the chart as price action moving in the opposite direction of the prior leading price action now for us to get gain a better perspective into what is going on here i would like us to scale up into the higher time frame to have a quick review of an interesting setup i was able to identify on the higher time frame now one thing i also like to say to state here is that um, the remember that we had the united we had a, a, an economic feature from the united kingdom this morning where they unveiled the gross domestic product for quarter three which came in beyond expectation and of course this is considered to be a positive signal for the united kingdom economy now will this dovetail to a positive traction for the pound sterling well uh, it may and it may not especially when um the pound sterling is experiencing downward pressure against the 
stronger U.S. dollar, and if the outcome aligns with the expectation, is likely going to reinforce the Bank of England's decision to maintain the current interest rate. Now, with the way things are going right now, let's see what is going on on the four hours time frame. So, I have a beautiful setup that we are going to be using to guide our decisions for today. And for those of us who have been with me since the beginning of the week, you will be familiar with this current structure we have on the four hours time frame. So what we did here was to take into consideration the nature of price action since uh, um, in the last two to three weeks. And the most prominent factor here is that supply zone around the 1.23300 level and the 1.230 area, which as you will see, this zone here had played a major role in negating all attempt by the buyers to break out of the structure um, throughout the second half of last month. And not until the beginning of this month that we finally saw an engulfing bullish candle striking out of that structure to incite a, an idea that the pounds may beginning to gain some momentum in this particular market and from a technical standpoint whenever we notice a breakout of a structure in fact it's not only that structure that was broken we also saw the breakout of this ascending trend line here we do expect that price will come back and retest the structure to incite an uptrend continuation and for those of you who have been with me since the beginning of the week remember i made mention that there is a possibility that price could retrace and do a consolidation phase between the 1.2300 level and the 1.222 zero zero area before making a well-informed decision so and as you will see that in the last three to four days price had fallen into this range consolidating within this area now the question at this juncture is will price continue the uptrend by breaking out of the 1.23 area respecting the ascending trend line to incite an uptrend move or are we going to be seeing price break down the 1.22200 level to incite a downtrend area now in addition to this structure here is this ascending trend line i was able to project here and as you will see price has been oscillating around the trend line which interestingly shares a confluence with the 1.22 to zero zero level now in the last one two three four five in the last 20 hours price action have been oscillating around that area so we don't know if buyers will be the one that will win this tussle or will it be the sellers that will win but one thing we know here is that we are at a crucial juncture where price action is currently trading within the confluence of the ascending trend line and that level had the 1.22 to zero zero area now how do we intend to capitalize on this move at this juncture we have here anything could actually happen so if we notice a reversal pattern along the ascending trend line and the 1.222 area it will give us a sign that sellers are finding it difficult to break the ascending trend line as a breakout retest of the neckline will be welcoming a buy position which further affirms the strength of the buyers that broke out out of that supply zone last week Friday however if price will break down that support line at the 1.22200 level price would have also broken down the ascending trend line to incite a downtrend move so with what we have gathered so far here you would agree with me that we are at a crucial juncture in this market now to position ourselves for the next move we need to scale down into the lower time frame to see and monitor our participant in the market has been reacting to this zone now if we scale down into the one hour time frame here we will begin to see things more clearly and during the early hours of today i was able to identify a simple setup that we are going to be using to guide our decision so this is the consolidation phase we identified on the four hours time frame which was oscillating just right above the 
ascending trend line we identified there and if we take into consideration the impulsive move that brought us into this point you will see that it appears that price action is gradually transitioning into a potential reversal pattern where the breakout of the neckline of that reversal pattern will be all we need to capitalize on that uptrend move now we have the neckline situated at the resistant line of that range which is exactly along the 1.22300 level so let's see if the market will break out of that structure then we want to be capitalizing on that move now there are two ways to which we can capitalize on that move depending on where you are coming from now for those of us who have been profitable since the beginning of the week then um we can afford to leverage on the profit we had made so far this week to test waters above the 1.22300 area so in that regard we can place a buy stop other above the 1.22300 area to capitalize on that uptrend move however if you are new with us and this is your first opportunity of the gbp usd with us in this community then i will suggest and encourage you to exercise patience and wait for the breakout and retest for confirmation before you jump into any position here so that is how we are going to be capitalizing on the uptrend move anywhere above the 1.22300 area will affirm this reversal setup then we want to be part of the uptrend and in fact one interesting thing about the structure is that we have multiple levels here that we can use to maximize the uptrend continuation so we have the 1.22475 we have the 1.22750 and i think we still have a couple of more okay we have the key level had the 1.23 Zero, 00 area where we do want to be having a buy stop order to capitalize on that uptrend move so let's see how far this momentum will go now in as much as we're looking out for buying opportunities you know how we do it in this community we do not ignore the potentials of the opposite participants as well we know how the financial market is a very very dynamic and fluid environment and for us to be profitable we want to be as fluid and dynamic as well so in this case scenario what is it that will make us feel comfortable selling the jvp usd now remember that we have this ascending trend line marked out on the higher time frame which interestingly shares a beautiful confluence with the 1.212 zero level 1.22120 level as you will see here now if price action will break down the 1.22120 level then price would also have broken down the ascending trend line and the breakdown of the ascending trend line will give us a sign that price action mean that trend line may no longer have the capacity to continue to negate the bearish attempt now a retest of structure will be a very good confirmation for us to join that decline to the downside so that is the only condition that will make us want to be adding more sell positions to our existing trade so you can see we have a simple setup here our center of focus for today's trading session is basically between the 1.22300 level and the 1.22120 area where depending on the breakout of the structure will give us an insight into the direction of price action so you do want to be marking out these levels on your chart so that you can use it as a reference point to guide your independent trading decisions for today in fact i'm already out of time here so i'll have to rush through the next asset on our watch list if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section so i'll just take about five seconds off to see if there are any questions before i jump into the last asset on our watch list for today Alright, so in the absence of no questions, let's move on to the last asset on our watch list. And here we go. <laughs> So 
the final asset on our watch list for today is my favorite and that is the XAUUSD popularly known as the gold sport well well so far this week we have been selling this asset remember we have been selling since the beginning of the week scooping over 400 pips in profit on the single one and um, i will say the price of gold is currently struggling to maintain the bullish momentum that started during um, the new york session yesterday which saw it surge from the $1,944.50 level that we identify and in fact the outcome of the Asian session reveals the price action is currently consolidating or maybe retracing if I will use that better word. Now despite this the bullish heart look still remains very intact as price action is still above the descending trend line we identified during the midweek. However, it is important to note that the upward trend may be limited depending on how market participants react to the hawkish comment made by the Federal Reserve Chairman yesterday. Now remember that Powell reiterated that the need for higher interest rates to combat the high inflation, which of, of course led to the rise in the yield on the bench 10-year U.S. government bond. This in turn may act as a headwind for gold prices. Now, later today, we are looking forward to the release of the Michigan U.S. Consumer Sentiment Index, which may also influence the dynamic of this market condition, potentially creating short-term trading opportunities ahead of the weekend. Now, how do we intend to take advantage of any opportunities today now um let's look at this current structure here well well since the beginning of the week remember that we have been selling and in fact we have a major trend line here which has been guiding our bearish opportunity since the beginning of the week and that is this descendant trend line after connecting the series of lower highs and not until during the new york session yesterday which we of course anticipated where price did break out of that trend line with an engulfing bullish candle and in fact moved over a um, hundred pips in our favor before this bearish momentum came in and of course if you had moved your stop loss like we usually do in this community when price moves significantly well in our favor you must have been taken out at a at a reasonable amount of profit or at a worst case scenario break even depending on where you place your stop losses now with the situation now we do not have any buy position but i actually took advantage of a selling opportunity today with the hopes that price may retrace back into structure and if you want to be asking why did i sell well personally if you look at the structure and from a technical standpoint when price breaks out of a very important trend line like this we expect that some point in time price is likely going to come back and retest the trend line in anticipation of another wave of bullish momentum and if you look at what has been going on here since throughout the asian session stroke the early hours of the new, of the london session you will see that price appeared to have transitioned into what looked like a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure where the $1,957 area appears to be the neckline of that reversal pattern. Now, the breakdown retest of that neckline validated that reversal structure, as you will see here, making me join the bearish momentum. And I'm looking forward to another breakdown of the $1,953 to add more sell position and maybe ride that momentum all the way to the downside. And let's see how far it will go. Now, if it gets into this area around the 1944 and the 1940 which shares a confluence with that descending trend line now depending on what happens here will now determine if we are going to be adding more sell position that is if price breaks down the trend line to the downside and then continue to run all the way down or we see reversal pattern resume around this area or a sharp retest of that trend line then we want to be part of an uptrend move so basically at this 
juncture in time, I'm of the opinion that we are currently going through a retracement of that impulsive move that started yesterday. So how far will this go? Well, we don't know, but let's exercise patience and see how the market will react to this new level, which is situated at the 1,953, which was actually broken during the New York session yesterday. And if buy pressure persists around the 1,953, that is sellers are finding it difficult to break through, then a breakdown of this descending trend line will be giving me sorry, break out of the descending trend line will be giving me an opportunity to join an uptrend move. And if price continues to climb high, the breakout of the 1,957 will welcome more buying opportunity. The further breakout of the 1,962 and of course the 1,970 hold will be welcoming more buying opportunity if price action breaks out of this level. So to give a quick recap, is a sharp and smooth recap of what I said here. Our center of focus is going to be basically between, um, hold on a second, let me delete this one so we can have a clean chart. So our center of focus for today is going to be between the $1,957 area and the $1,953. It's a $4 range. Let's see how the market will react here. So if price breaks down the 1953 retest it then i want to be joining a selling opportunity all the way to the downside let's see how far it will go and please note that while you are joining this bearish momentum ensure you move your stop losses accordingly as soon as price action moves significantly well in our favor however if this is not the case or price takes us out of that position and goes on to break out of that as descended trend line and the 1957 then at that point we want to be looking out for patterns and structures that supports the idea of buying this asset so it's a simple setup we have here on the xa usd mark out the 1957 mark out the 1953 and then mark out this descending trend line on your chart as you will be needing them as a reference point to guide your independent trading decisions for today and i think it's on this note we will be rounding off for today's trading session i'm way way out of time right now uh if you have any questions while i'm rounding off you can drop them in the comment section i will be checking the comment section from time to time while i round off for today's trading session so for so far today we were able to attend to four major assets today which include um the us all sports we also attended to the US Tech 100, the XAUUSD, popularly known as the Gold Sports, and of course the GBP USD, all of which we were able to identify simple setups using fundamental tools such as trend lines, key levels, and chart patterns to strategically position ourselves ahead of the New York session today. And for those of us who have been part of the profitable journey since the beginning of this week, well done, well done to you guys for being on standby to capitalize on every each move we identified in this community so let's see how today is going to be like if we can as well replicate and even add to whatever we had gained on this asset so we already have our levels marked out please just exercise patience and allow the structures to mature before you jump into any positions here and i usually mention here ensure you have a well-defined risk management strategy as you will need it to protect your position against any sudden moves that will affect the current position you have move your stop losses accordingly when price action moves significantly well ensure your stop losses are in place so that whenever sudden moves happen you will be taken out at a worst case scenario break even depending on where you place your stop losses so for those of you who joined us for the first time today i do hope you are able to gain one or two things from what we discussed in this community and i i look forward to seeing more of you as the more time you spend with us the better you will become in understanding the our analytical approach in this community and eventually be able to use the information you gather here to make your own independent trading decision so once again you are welcome and i look forward to seeing more of you i see your comments innocent babe i'm very glad to have you around today you're very much welcome and do have a wonderful weekend 
um Ezab D Abdullah, good morning to you. Luli Tutu, Jenny Ho, uh, Winnie X298 Har, good morning to you guys, and I wish you all a wonderful weekend. So on this note, do have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you on Monday when we shall be coming back here again to have a fresh new look at the financial market in anticipation of another uh, promising week ahead of us. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>